My name is Carla, and this is the story of how I found my strength. I grew up in a bustling city in Brazil, where traditions ran deep and expectations were often set in stone. As the eldest of three daughters, I was acutely aware of the limitations imposed on women in my community. Yet, even from a young age, I had a burning desire to break free from those confines. My father was a schoolteacher, and he believed in the power of education. Despite societal pressure to prioritize my brother's education over mine, he ensured that I attended school. My mother, on the other hand, was a homemaker who taught me resilience and the importance of standing up for oneself. In school, I excelled in mathematics and science, subjects traditionally dominated by boys. My teachers recognized my potential and encouraged me to aim high. I dreamed of becoming an engineer, a field where women were woefully underrepresented in my country. After finishing high school, I faced immense pressure from extended family and neighbors to get married. They believed that a woman's place was in the home, raising children and supporting her husband. But my parents stood by me, allowing me to pursue my dreams. I secured a scholarship to a prestigious engineering college and left home, ready to carve out my own path. College was a world of challenges and opportunities. I was often one of the few women in my classes, and I had to constantly prove my worth. There were moments of doubt and exhaustion, but I pressed on, fueled by the belief that I was paving the way for other women to follow. Upon graduation, I landed a job at a leading tech company. It was a significant achievement, but it also came with its own set of obstacles. I encountered bias and discrimination, often being overlooked for promotions in favor of my male colleagues. However, I refused to be discouraged. I worked harder took on challenging projects, and continuously sought to improve my skills. Outside of work, I started mentoring young girls in my community, encouraging them to pursue careers in STEM fields. I shared my story with them, hoping to inspire and empower them to dream big and strive for their goals, no matter the odds. Years passed, and my perseverance paid off. I rose through the ranks to become a senior engineer, leading a team of talented individuals. My journey was not without sacrifices, but it was worth it. I had proven to myself and to others that women could excel in any field they chose. Today, I am proud of what I have accomplished, but my story is far from over. I continue to mentor and advocate for women in STEM, working to create an environment where gender does not dictate one's potential. My name is Carla, and this is my journey. I hope it serves as a reminder that strength lies within us all, waiting to be discovered and unleashed.